So the smell of evergreen won't be wafting through the halls of the state house this year. Governor Raimondo opting for an artificial tree this year. Yeah, it's the latest move in the state house Christmas tree saga, as we've seen over the past few years. You may remember it kind of started back in 2012 when Governor Chafee, then Governor Chafee, called it a holiday tree. The governor at the time defending the move on national television. Then back in 2017, you remember this uh, tree here? It died just 10 days shy of Christmas. Needles all over the state house floor. Our Brandon Truitt joining us now with how tree farmers are reacting this year. Hey guys, good morning. Well, what is usually a symbol that is quite literally pulling people together in the holidays seems to be doing the opposite now. When local tree farmers found out of this news of an artificial tree, many of them were left wondering why. The 18-foot tall tree comes with a price tag of more than $6,000. It was bought by leftover fundraising money. Now, despite the history of the state house trees on Dan York State of Mind, the owners of Big John Layden's Christmas Tree Farm made their case against the decision. Timothy Layden says a tree of the same size, a real one, would cost roughly 500 bucks. The governor's office says it's hard to keep a tree alive in the old and overly heated building. As she calls the entire debacle a no-win situation. The Laydens say that this is just not true. They add there are simple ways to keep a real one alive in the state house. Both men saying they feel hurt by the state's decision not to support local farmers. I think it's a sign of laziness. It's just so simple to maintain that tree. Once it's up, once it's decorated, someone needs to maintain and check the water level of the stand daily. We've had a lot of trouble in recent years keeping a live tree uh, in good condition for a whole month in a very old, overly heated building. So we just thought that this was a safer, more practical thing to do. This all comes as the official tree lighting is set to happen tonight uh, around 6.15 at the State House Rotunda. Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News.